Wait, so this parasite has literally zero brain cells, no digestive system, can't even process food, and somehow it's hacking into insect brains better than most ransomware attacks. Here's what's actually happening. Horsehair worms spend months living inside crickets and grasshoppers, just vibing in their bloodstream, absorbing nutrients directly through their skin like some kind of biological osmosis sponge. No mouth, no gut, nothing. They're basically a string with ambition. But here's where it gets absurd. When the worm's ready to reproduce, it needs to get back into water. Problem, its host lives on land and has zero interest in drowning itself. Solution? The worm hijacks the cricket's brain and rewrites its entire perception of reality. Specifically, and this is the part that breaks my brain, it manipulates the host's light-interpreting organs so the cricket becomes obsessed with horizontally polarized light. You know what reflects horizontally polarized light? Water. So the cricket sees the puddle and its brain is just like, I must jump into that immediately, and it does. Suicide by reprogramming. Now, scientists recently figured out how a brainless tube is pulling off this neural hijacking, and the answer is somehow even weirder. The worm is stealing genes, not metaphorically. It's literally performing horizontal gene transfer, taking genetic code directly from its host's genome and using those stolen genes to manufacture the exact proteins needed to manipulate that specific species' brain chemistry. It's like if a USB drive could hack your computer by copying your own source code and using it against you. Except the USB drive has no brain and invented this technique through evolution. Oh, and because nature is apparently written by horror authors, if a bird eats the infected cricket, the worm can survive being eaten, wiggle out of the predator's digestive system, and just continue on with its day. The cricket dies. The bird gets a weird afternoon. The worm goes on a date. There are over 300 species of these things, some growing up to six feet long, and you've definitely seen them. They're in swimming pools, water troughs, those random puddles in your driveway. They tie themselves into those impossible knots that look like someone's trying to debug biological spaghetti code. And yes, before you ask, there are documented cases in humans. Rare, accidental, extremely uncomfortable to think about. So basically... We live in a world where brainless parasites are out here stealing genetic source code and recompiling their host's neurological firmware, and most people just think they're weird pool noodles. Nature's running a zero-day exploit, and we're all just raw-dogging reality without antivirus software.